drifting live baits or live line and bunker, a lot of people call it. I just do three baits and I would rather manage three perfectly than mess around with four or five or six and have tangles all day. So Tim is letting his out. Right now we're just drifting parallel to the, to the waves and the current. All the lines are coming off this port side of the boat. So you have three lines. This one's hooked in the mouth. And what kind of weight do you have? No weight at all? No weight at all. So he's got no weight at all. This one here has a two ounce egg sinker on it. And this one here has two split shots. And you see how he's holding the rod nice and high. So we'll stick him in the rod holders as far apart we can get him. But the rod's kind of high. And he's hooked up, ladies and gentlemen. He's hooked up. Crank, crank, crank. <laughs> nice. Now that it gets flat. Doing good, brother. You're doing good. Nice. Just bring him right to Tim. Get him, Tim. Scoop hard. Good job. Good job, Rich. Your Woo! first, your first striker, All right. right? Your first striker. All right. All right, Rich. Congrats. Is this your first striper? Yes, it is. Worked your butt off for it. Absolutely. Good job, brother. Let's turn it loose. Here we have a nine knot. This is a uh, Daiichi Super Chunk Light straight shank circle hook in line. You can see there's no offset in this. If it swallows it, fish can tighten up. This will slide right out of the stomach and grab the corner of the mouth. Have about a three to four foot leader, very small barrel swivel, a couple beads just to protect the knot, add a little noise when you're using live bait. And this is just a two ounce sliding egg sinker. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you the three ways we hook these baits. We're drifting with all the baits off one side of the boat. If we hook them all the same, they're gonna cross and we're gonna have messes all day. So there's a couple ways to add more baits on one side without having them tangle. So the first way is we'll go in the mouth and out the top. This is a, a nine knot circle hook. Okay, this is an owner mutu circle. Okay, we're gonna go up in the mouth, out the nose. Okay, some guys have some split shots on it. Some have no weight at all. And these obviously will be pulling these along just like this. Another way to do it is you can hook them in the back, just behind the, behind the back of the dorsal fin. And this fish will pull away and he'll swim to the surface the whole time. Because as he pulls away, this tightens up, he comes up. So he'll be near the surface the whole time. If you're in shallow water, it's a great way to do it. Brings a lot of attention in, makes a lot of noise on the surface. A little deeper, we want to hook him in the tail. I'll go ahead and in the anal fin down here. Okay. Now, as this fish pulls away, he does this, and he'll want to go to the bottom. Now, you got to mix it up. We can't have two guys right next to each other with the same amount of weight, with the baits hooked the same way. They're going to crisscross. So if you have one hooked in the lips, one hooked in the tail, one lips, one tail, or you may have one guy with one ounce, one guy with no weight, one guy with three ounce, but you got to mix it up a little bit. That's a great way to mix it up. Some in the tail, some in the dorsal, some in the anal, some in the nose. All right, I want to take a minute and show you what we're using for live line and the stripers here up in the Northeast. The same reel you've seen us catch so many different stripers in so many different places on. It is the Accurate Valiant 400. Most of the time these come in just a regular silver aluminum. That's a custom color uh, for us. And we love this reel for everything. So 400 uh, regular, if you don't, want to spend the money for the reel i totally understand get the fury version the fury version is about 240 bucks so the fury built all the same way it just has drag on one side versus drag on two all same materials 240 dollars reel it's a great reel and uh if you need something a little more affordable than that i would say stay with the pen stuff some of the diaba stuff i know it's a little expensive as well it's probably good and it's the striper stealth Medium heavy, I know it sounds like a broken record, but medium heavy is the best rod for everything, from little fish to big fish. Lots of backbone, yet super, super soft tip. I'll put the link in for everything. If you don't have a soft tip while live lining for striped bass like this, don't even bother, because they will pick it up and drop it immediately. They need that tip to be super duper soft, so when they pick up that bunker, they can turn it, get it down the gullet. If not, they feel the tip of that rod, any resistance, and they spit it out. Also gotta use mono. You have a lot of mono out there the more you have the more it stretches the more shock absorber you have and the less the fish will feel it if the fish feels that any resistance it will spit it and the fish has to be able to grab that bunker and feel comfortable with it turn it and get it down the throat because we're really not letting these fish run we're just you know we're just letting them go ahead and take it down we're looking for big fish anyway and the big fish usually don't play owner of mudu light wire 
with the seven on right there it is an offset circle hook I like offsets when we're moving I use inline circle hooks when the line is slack or on the bottom like when we're chunking when we're moving I use offsets these are three hooks that are a tie for second place after the owner muted okay Eagle Claw Trocar Lancet you can see it's a cutting point I hope you can see that there's a blade on that point it's also offset all of these hooks straight shank I don't use a snell ever after that also straight shank must add demon circle straight shank needle point not a cutting point great hook right there for chunking daiichi sorry about that daiichi circle hook right there you can see it's a straight shank as well they also have the super chunk this is a regular but a super chunk has a little tiny barb on the shank you keep your bait from sliding up and rehooking on the point great idea those are my favorite hooks right there all circles as you notice and uh, I don't use a Snell I use a Palomar knot I'm not sponsored by any of these companies just my favorite hooks all right guys one thing I want to show you pretty important before you take your boat out, I don't care if you have one person with you, 10 people with you, you can file a float plan very simply, just with your mother, with your wife, with a friend. Uh, if you're in New Jersey, you could have a friend in California. File a float plan with him. Just tell him where you're launching from, how many people you have, when you're expected back. Set up a time to check in. Right here, you can see, this is my mother. I'm up here in New Jersey. I stay with her when I'm up here fishing. I live in North Carolina. We had a check-in time of 9.30, so at 9.19, she says, off the water yet? I say, no, still fishing, all good. Okay, thanks. Now, we're gonna check in every 30 minutes after this because we agreed to check in at 9.30. So about every 30 minutes after this, or I can give her another time. Like I can say, all right, 11, we'll check in again. And this person doesn't have to live close to you. It's just somebody who can call for help if you don't check back in. She has my number. She has my buddy's number. She knows we have three souls out here. She knows where we launched. We plan on staying in the bay. We are not going in the ocean. If she doesn't hear from me by time, she'll try to call me. She'll call me over and over. If she doesn't get me, she'll try Tim. If she can't get Tim, she's on the horn. She's calling the police. She's calling the Coast Guard. She's gonna tell them where we are, where we launched, how many souls we have, and we need help. So it could save your life. And uh, it's so simple to do. There's no excuses, guys. So make sure you do that. Right, Rich? That's right. Better safe than sorry. Safety right. first. Water will kill you quick. Yes. Doesn't care. Uh, here. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>